In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all, and with your spirit. As you remember in a very special way this morning at Mass here in St. Brendan's Church in Luscon, Elizabeth and William Conroy of Rostullus and deceased members of the Conroy family. Indeed, remember all our faithful departed. I'd like to welcome all here present in the church here, St. Brendan in Luscon, and also to, to we keep in mind uh, Teresa, uh, Michael and Mary uh, in Canada, Michael and Mary Murray in Canada, and indeed all who may be joining us in the United States later. Uh, anyone, wherever you are, you're most welcome. As you remember in our prayers in a very special way, the deceased members of the Conroy family, and as we keep in our prayers, William and Elizabeth. And to help us to celebrate the Mass this morning more faithfully, we acknowledge now our need of God as we confess our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, fair virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, and let us pray. Reading, commons will come to seek the Lord of hosts. The Lord of hosts says this, There will be other people yet, and citizens of great cities, and the inhabitants of one city will go to the next and say, Come, let us go and entreat the favour of the Lord, and seek the Lord of hosts. I am going myself, and many people and great nations will come to seek the Lord of hosts in Jerusalem and to entreat the favour of the Lord. The Lord of hosts says this, In those days, ten men of nations of every language will take a Jew by the sleeve and say, We want to go with you, since we have learned that God is with you. The word of the Lord. God is with us. On the holy mountain is his city, cherished by the Lord. The Lord prefers the gates of Zion to all Jacob's dwellings. Of you are told glorious things, O city of God. God is with us. Babylon and Egypt I will count among those who know me. Philistia, Tyre, Ethiopia, these will be her children, and Zion shall be called mother, for all shall be her children. God is with us. It is he, the Lord the Most High, who gives each his place. In his register of peoples he writes, these are her children, and while the dance they will sing, in you all find their home. God is with us and the gospel acclamation. And we stand out to greet the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. Bend my heart to your will, O Lord, and teach me your law. Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus sets out for Jerusalem. As the time drew near for him to be taken up to heaven, Jesus resolutely took the road for Jerusalem and sent messengers ahead of him. They set out and they went into a Samaritan town to make preparations for him. But the people would not receive him because he was making for Jerusalem. Seeing this, the disciples James and John said, Lord, do you want us to call down fire from heaven to burn them up? But he turned and rebuked them, and they went off to another village. 
the gospel of the Lord. Praise to your Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated for a few moments. The gospel today coming from St. Luke as chapter 9 as Jesus sets out for Jerusalem. Jerusalem being a very focal point, still is to this day for Jewish people, Christians and for Muslims. But within the Jewish faith, the Samaritans hadn't the same regard for Jerusalem. So when they heard that Jesus and his followers were making for Jerusalem, perhaps it was understandable that they didn't have a welcome for them. And then the disciples James and John said, do you want us to call fire down from heaven to burn them up? But Jesus uh, rebukes them. He feels perhaps a little disappointed that they haven't uh, taken on board his message, one of love and, and generosity and grace and, and forgiveness, even when people oppose you and, ob and object to you, like those Samaritans at that time. And we know from another parable, the good Samaritan is the one that surprises everybody by being the person who lends a hand. So we should never underestimate the kindness that can be there in the stranger or perceived enemy out there of us. Help us always to be able to see the bigger picture. And as Jesus sets out for Jerusalem, let us in turn set out for the Lord. Help us to prepare a way for the Lord in our own hearts and in our own minds. Help us to overcome the prejudices and jealousies that can hold us back. Lord, hear us. We pray for this pandemic to pass. We pray particularly for all um, the doctors and scientists endeavoring to create vaccines and better medicines. We pray for the leaders of the world that you, Lord, will guide them in making the right decisions, including our leaders here in Ireland. And we pray also for ourselves, that we would be good neighbours, kind and considerate to each other, and help us in turn, help us also to have that discipline and resolve to do all we can at this time. Lord, hear us. And we pray for all the sick of our parish, both at home and in hospital, mindful of all who are seriously ill and those who have asked and requested our prayers at this time. Lord, hear us. And we keep Teresa in our prayers at this time as well. That we ask the Lord to be close to her and give her every grace. Lord, hear us. As we remember our loved ones, as we remember William and Elizabeth Conroy and deceased members of their family, of all the Conroy family, we ask you, Lord, to grant them, and indeed all our faithful departed, eternal rest and happiness. Lord, hear us. And we make our prayers with Our Lady's help as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and bless the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. And we make all our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Bless you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we receive the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed to you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever.
And pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant us, O merciful God, that this our offering may find acceptance with you, and that through it the wellspring of all blessing may be laid upon, open before us through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For we know it belongs to your boundless glory, that you came to the aid of mortal beings with your divinity, and even fashioned for us a remedy out of mortality itself, that the cause of our downfall might become the means of our salvation through Christ our Lord. And through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you've created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, Grace you make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. From the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins, and do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Savior, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance which you elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. John the Baptist, St. Brendan, St. Joseph, St. Elizabeth, 
Saint William, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and in charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant, Francis our Pope, and Michael our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you've gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. Remember your servants, William and Elizabeth, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who are united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection, when from the earth he will raise up in the flesh those who have died and transform our lowly body after the pattern of his own glorious body. To our departed brothers and sisters too, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, when you will wipe away every tear from our eyes. For seeing your God as you are, we should be like you for all ages. Praise you without end, through Christ our Lord, to whom you bestow the world all that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. And we stand as we pray in the words our Saviour taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Grace you grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grace you grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. And let us pray for that peace, particularly at this time. We pray for peace of mind, peace of heart, peace in our family, in the parish, in Ireland, and indeed throughout the world. And help all of us to appreciate the peace that you, Lord, can give us. Help us to be generous in sharing the Lord's peace with each other. bring eternal life to us to receive it. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be. Remember your word to your servant, O Lord, for which you have given me hope. 
This is my comfort when I am brought low. And for all who are listening in church radio, following Mass online, you can now pray the act of spiritual communion. Invite the Lord into your heart in a special way. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there, and unite with that holy to you. Never permit me to be separated from you.
that we may be co-heirs in glory with Christ, to the suffering we are united with ever with the same his death, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. As we keep in our prayers in a very special way this morning, Elizabeth and William Conroy of Brussels, and deceased members of their family, deceased members of the Conroy family, did remember all our faithful departed. And may their souls and the souls of all the faithful departed, the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. And we keep in our prayers all their family and friends here present, and indeed those watching from afar in Canada and in the United States, and wherever you are. Uh, we, we join you in prayer. Thank you for joining in prayer here also. And just to know that Mass tomorrow in the evening, if you remember Paul Cage, at half past seven at Mass in Woodford, and also if you've gone on the church radio and also online. So thank you again for those joining us in prayer. And we make our prayers, particularly this time of need, when the ladies have the brief prayer. Remember, a most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known. That anyone who pledged thy protection and implored thy help or sought thy protection with blessed angels, inspired with confidence, I fly unto thee, O Virgin of Virgins, my mother. To thee do I come, before thee I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother, the word incarnate, despise not my petition, but in your clemency, graciously hear and answer me. Amen. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke when we humbly pray, and do your friends in the heavenly host by the power of God cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits wandering through the world, seeking the root of souls. Amen. I invite you now all to stand for the final prayer and blessing. May the Lord bless you and keep you. Amen. May he let his face shine upon you and show you his mercy. Amen. May he turn his face towards you and give you his peace. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go forth in peace to love and to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.